Welcome back folks, this is Shane. In today's video, I'm gonna take you on a little adventure to get a new amplifier, possibly. I wanna make sure it's right still, but I'm pretty keen on this amp. I've wanted one for years. I had one that was kind of similar many years ago, but it was a backbreak, but tone-wise, it was awesome. There's a couple of reasons why I wanna get it. One, I'm kind of bored with my sounds to some extent. Been using the Fender Blues Deluxe reissue for a long time, and I love it, I'm keeping it. I've also got a Marshall DSL 40 under here as well, which is a kick-ass amplifier. And I've also got the Artist Tweed Tone 20. So there's a couple of things I'll always do anytime I'm purchasing a new amplifier. If it's similar to an amp I already have, then I take in that amplifier because sometimes different isn't always better. I've made that mistake many times. So anytime I'm buying a 6L6 amplifier, I take my Blues Deluxe with me. So that's the first thing, but this is different. This is a 6V6 amp. So I'm gonna bring in two things, my pedal board. So I'm very familiar with my own sound and how that responds and a guitar of choice, which will be my Strat. Being that I'm a guitar nerd, I've got lots of guitar nerd friends and some that are just amazing players and one of which is coming down today. So it's always good if you can to get a second opinion on Tone. He's actually owned one of these amplifiers before and I mean he makes anything sound good. This is the difference, right? He's a great player that just makes everything sound amazing. But it's great to sort of get a second opinion. Now I haven't been playing much over the last three weeks, I've been away. So for me this is going to be getting the fingers going seeing if it inspires me to play, and just having something different, light and loud. It should be pretty cool. I guess a few people might know what this is, but maybe not. One of the interesting things about what I do anytime I play live or I see my friends, and they're big guitar nerds as well, if I've got an amp or a pedal that I'm really digging, odds are they end up multiplying. I think there's about six artist tweed tones in my friend's circle now, so probably the big reason why I want to get another small amp just as a point of difference. So let's wrap this video up. We both ended up buying something. Brian ended up with that beautiful looking Squire Classic Vibe 60 Stratocaster in the Lake Placid Blue. It's got a little sparkle in there and it sounded great. He tried three of them and that one sounded the best. So awesome stuff. Congratulations to Brian. And thank you so much for coming down and testing out this amp. It's always great to have such an awesome guitar player try an amp anytime you're going in there because it shows you the possible potential of it all. 
Now, Supersonic 22 is a very similar amplifier to my old Supersonic 60, except I can lift this one far easier, which is awesome. Plus, you can get great tones at lower volumes without obliterating the room. It's always fun to obliterate the room, so I have no plans on getting rid of my 40 watt amps. Not a chance. If we take a little bit of a look at the amplifier here, as you can see, we get a clean channel. The clean channel has two different voicings, normal and fat. The fat mode gives you more mids. We don't actually get a mids control anywhere here. And the normal is a bit more like your Vibralux or Fender Deluxe Reverb type of tone. It's not identical, but it's very, very similar. On this side of the Supersonic 22, we have the burn channel. And this allows us to use two different gain controls to get a whole lot of different tones. This is one of the cool features of this amplifier. Now the lower end is reduced slightly on this side compared with the clean channel but they always do that just to keep the clarity of the tone there so interestingly enough volume control as well so we get a foot switch and everything we need to switch channels on the fly when it comes to the provided foot switch we get a switch between vintage and burn so the clean and the dirty channel we can also turn the normal and fat mode on and off on the clean channel which i think is great we get a dedicated reverb button and an effects loop button over here so if you want to run a delay pedal into it you can run it through the effects loop and turn it on via this i think this makes the amp extremely functional and we get a nice long cable for the foot switch so let's know what you think of the supersonic amplifiers the 60s are great but they're really hard to find so if you have one of those hold on to it it's a really great amp just a little bit on the heavy side. I loved mine, I thought it sounded awesome, but this will fill a need and a use case that's very specific. While it doesn't have the output grunt of the two bigger amplifiers, it doesn't matter. It's still plenty loud for what I do these days. And for playing at home, it's gonna make a whole lot more sense bringing the overall wattage down. And I can't wait, maybe what I'll do, I might do a comparison between the tweet tone and this, just to make sure I've done the right thing, but it feels like I have. I'm excited and happy to get this amp fired up and a massive thanks to the guys at sky music for their help as well i appreciate that and also if you don't know mike bradley's channel go check him out he's a huge advocate of these amplifiers he's from england i'll link his channel up in the cards great dude great friend great player and great enabler as well in many ways even passively i think with this one i know he loves these amps thanks again for watching catch you soon see ya